What you guys today we're taking a look at how does Windows 11 collect your data. Now Windows 11 much like its predecessor Windows 10 will continuously collect data in the background and it will also collect data from your user activity. So how can you stop a lot of this stuff? Well I'm going to show you how to do that today very quick and easy. Go into your settings and privacy and security and we'll start off in here. First off diagnostic and feedback. This is a common one that Microsoft collect data from. So click on this and you'll see that I've already got mine turned off. There's some other features inside here that you need to turn off. So down here, you'll see uh, the actual send optional data, uh, diagnostic data back is turned off and we have improved inking and typing, tailored experience, view diagnostic data and delete your diagnostic data. You can click on this one here and make sure everything is set to off. Down the bottom, F uh, feedback frequency I've got this to never even though it says automatically recommended I just have all this off and then clean it out there's another way I'll show you how to do this as well in group policy and also with some other methods a little bit later on so this is uh, the diagnostic and feedback that's one of the first ways and a big way of them collecting your activity and your personal data on your PC next up we're going to go to privacy and security and general and here it's self-explanatory. The first one is let apps show me personalized ads by using my advertising ID. I have this turned off. The next one I have let Windows show me locally relevant content by accessing my language list. Then we have let Windows improvements start and search results by tracking app uh, uh, launches. And we have show me suggestive content in my app settings. All these are turned off. And these can also be forced uh, inside group policy and turned off there as well. So let's go back to the privacy and settings again. And the next one is uh, activity history. This is another big one where Microsoft will start to collect all your information of your activity when you're using your computer. You can see here, store my activity history on this device. Right here, this will collect all of the information. You want to definitely turn this one off and you can even clear the history by just clicking on clear. And this should uh, stop them from collecting or harvesting data from your PC and your activities on your computer. Next, we're gonna go back into the settings pane here and back into privacy and security. And you can see inking and typing personalization. This is another common place where they will collect data. You can see here, right on here, it says customers inking and typing dictionary. Now, if this was turned on, it will use your typing history, handwriting patterns, and create a custom dictionary for you. Once you've toggled that off, hit the clear your customized dictionary, and this will clear all the information from your computer. And that's now done. So you can now go back. And now we've got this turned off. We want to do other settings. Yes, there's plenty more to go. And this is also the same for Windows 10. Next up, we got find my device. Track your device if you think you've lost it. Now, this might be useful to some people. I've already turned this off, and it won't work if you've got your location turned off on your computer. So I've turned location off, so this feature is now turned off. But you can see here, save this device's location when it is connected to the internet. Go to your account in Microsoft.com and basically locate it. Now, it's okay if you're on a mobile device, but this is a desktop computer. Unless someone breaks into your home and steals your computer, you're going to want to know where that is. But again, I pretty much don't want that feature turned on. And I have the location services uh, turned off because this is where they want to locate you. Now, if you're using weather apps and things like that, then obviously this is not going to work for you because obviously this won't know your location and it will just give you general weather news, uh, not of your location. And you can also clear the location history as well. Next up, go into your Microsoft browser here, and you're going to want to check inside your Microsoft Edge browser. Now, I'm signed in uh, to my Microsoft account because I use Office. But if you're not signed in, you're using a local account, that's much more uh, user friendly. In your Edge browser, in the settings pane, you'll see privacy and uh, search and services here. You can set this, make sure this is turned on tracking prevention. Uh, I've seen people turn this off. You want to leave that on and then choose one of these which suits your needs. For instance, Strict is one of the most aggressive ones, uh, but some sites might not work properly with it on Strict. But you do also have Balanced here as well. So choose which one suits you 
You can read all the description there, but I personally leave mine on balanced, but it depends on how you want to set yours up. Uh, but yeah, I have mine on balance normally. So next up, let's move on to the next stage, which is your Microsoft account. When you log into your Microsoft account in the privacy settings inside here, you're going to see a bunch of activity that your uh, browser and your account is collecting on you. You can see here location activity. You can also see browser activity, search history for your system, apps and services activity, and also media activity and apps and services performance data. All of this is being harvested from your computer. And this is quite concerning. A lot of people don't even know about this area, but you can clear all of the data on here. Uh, but again, it just goes to show you why people are getting so frustrated with uh, Windows is because, uh, you know, Microsoft are constantly collecting and harvesting data from you. And of course, this is starting to become a big problem for a lot of people. Once you log into here, you will be able to clear all of this information here. It just harvests all your information. He can download your own data and look at what they're actually collecting. And you can also clear some of this information by just clicking on this button here. And then you can say clear this data every 30 days. So that is the earliest time you can delete it. So you can leave it there for 30 days. It won't stop them from harvesting it. It's just going to mean that you're going to clear it out every 30 days. But the damage has already been done, of course. And this is the problem when you're using something like this. It is just going to continue to harvest all that information. And down here, you're going to see a bunch of other stuff like clear browser history data. And again, you can do this for 30 days and go through and just basically do this for all of them. And you can understand why now people want to debloat Windows or debloat Windows 10 or 11, or they want to use a lighter version of Windows because all of this stuff will be ripped out of it. Unfortunately, it is their operating system and there's not a lot you can do about it apart from use a different operating system. Now you can do also some stuff inside Group Policy Editor. I'm going to keep this very minimal and just show you one thing in here because this video is starting to get a bit long already. But inside here, do you remember I was talking about the uh, diagnostic data here? If you go into the data collection uh, and preview uh, builds here, inside here, there is an area which will say allow diagnostic data. In this area, we can click on this and basically put it into a mode where it's not going to collect any data. Unfortunately, you will need a version of Windows 11 or Windows 10 Pro and above. And you can see it right here, allow diagnostic data, go in here. And uh, some people just disable this thinking it's going to disable this feature. But if you read the information on the right hand pane, disabling it is not going to do that. What you need to do is set this to uh, diagnostic data off, not recommended. And that's what you need to set that to. And it will basically turn off all of that data collection uh, right there. And this is a better way of doing it rather than doing it in the settings, which I showed you earlier. But I just wanted to show you this method for Windows uh, 10 or Windows 11 Pro and above users. This is for enterprise level. Now, do bear in mind that there is loads of other things you can do in group policy. And this is why Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro is way better than Windows Home versions because you can't do this in Windows Home. And you can go in here and there's a bunch of settings in here which you can toggle off. Next up, we're going to go back into our privacy and security diagnostic feedback. And you can now see some of these settings are managed by your organization and it's now turned off and they can't collect data from you. So that is an important step. And the good thing about these settings are they're all reversible and you're not being destructive with the operating system by ripping components out of the operating system. You're just turning a lot of stuff off, which is going to free up resources and make your system run a lot smoother. So let's continue with our sort of debloat, if you want to call it, or turning off telemetry. Inside your task uh, scheduler here, you need to go to this location, and I'll put it up here, and I'll leave this in the video description as well. It's in your uh, libraries and inside Microsoft. Inside here, you want to go to Windows, and then you want to come down inside your Windows area here, and you can see there is one called application experience inside application experience. You're going to see there is one there called Microsoft compatibility appraiser. And uh, we want to disable that feature 
but that won't do the trick. You need to remove the setting and I'll show you how to do that as well. So right click on this one and you need to disable this. And this is to do with telemetry. And they've even got a handy little readme note here. Microsoft Corporation collects program telemetry information if you opt into the Microsoft Consumer Experience Improvement Program. Right there, you definitely want to disable that because that is going to be basically collecting and harvesting all of your activities on your computer. So right click on it and disable it. That is a must. Once that's done, you can then go into your command prompt and I'll give you the command in the video description which you can run which will completely stop it and remove it. So let's go ahead and do this uh, right now. But first, let me show you the code here. This is it right here, and it's going to delete the diag track here. So let's go ahead and open up command prompt, type CMD in the search and run that as administrator. And this will open up the command prompt box. I'm going to paste this in all in one go and push enter, and this will then remove it. So that is now done. And we can now push enter one more time and you can see it's going to put a registry key in into our data collection area. It will say allow telemetry and we've turned that off. So that is now done. But if you don't want to go for all that painful process there, you can use programs like this one here. And I've shown you this on my channel before, which is quite a powerful little tool, which allows you to disable a lot of the advertising inside Windows 10 and Windows 11. This one is for Windows 11 called do not spy 11 and it's quite a powerful tool at disabling a lot of this stuff it also has a built-in uh, create a restore point so you will always be able to roll back to that restore point you can also check for updates here it's on the latest version you can see here you're using the latest version here now this program is still being actively updated by the creator and I do hope he continues with it but if you look on the right hand side it does give you some information about what it does and you can see here the following colors help you decide which tweaks to apply. Blue is safe to use, orange is read the description, and also red is not recommended and gray settings have been changed. So you can check mark all of these and then go through them and uncheck the ones that you want to keep. That's where the way I would recommend you do it. You can see here advertising disabled in Meet Now and a bunch of other settings down here. I'm not going to go through every single one of these because I've already covered this in a video, but I just wanted to go through here and show you some of the areas. Now, some of the ones that are like camera and microphone, you probably want to uh, take these off if you are using your microphone and camera. I'm going to take these out of the equation, and then you can go down here, but you'll see disable access to diagnostic data and so on and so on and so on, and there's a bunch of other stuff in here. Now, bear in mind, there is some ones in here which are do with uh, Windows Defender and to do with Windows updates, and now, of course, I wouldn't advise you turn those off. I'm going to leave those on, so I will remove those check marks in here. But mostly a lot of this stuff is to do with advertising telemetry and data collection on your computer. So a lot of this stuff can be turned off. But don't take my word for it. Go for it yourself and basically look at some of the settings that you want to keep and uncheck mark some of the ones that you're using. Other than that, you can just go ahead and follow here what I've got off here. I've just turned off a bunch of stuff. You can see here Windows Defender. I'm leaving this well alone because I do have already a antivirus program on my system. I just don't want to mess with the defender part of it because it can be a second line of defense here. Now, also, again, I also uh, took out the check, check marks for any sort of smart screen because I want to use that to protect when I'm browsing. And also any sort of office stuff, I've took the check mark out as well because obviously I use office applications and I don't want that disabling anything to do with Office, apart from all of the telemetry stuff inside here. I can disable the widgets because I don't use those, and I don't want that big annoying thing popping up every time I hover over it with my mouse by accident. And again, if you use that feature, then don't disable the widgets. You can see here the updates I've left alone, and also any sort of Office stuff here I've unchecked marked, apart from the telemetry side of things, which is lots of it. All the edge stuff I've also toggled off and you, once you're happy, you can apply these to your settings and it will then remove those advertising and telemetry collection. Now you can enable this up here, say enabled only or disabled only. It will just show you what you haven't uh, done and what you have done. So you can always go back in here and reverse this if you wanted to at a later date. But there is plenty inside here which you can sort of mess around with and then also undo it if you wanted to. And these are the ones that I've disabled only. 
and enabled only here. So these are the features that have been disabled on this computer. I know it sounds a bit confusing saying enabled only, disabled only, but that's the way the creators made that program. Anyway, that is how to stop Windows 11 from tracking your data or collecting data from you when you're using the operating system like Windows 11 or Windows 10. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.